Hi everybody, welcome back to my backyard. Today I have a super small box from Flywoo and also look how cool it looks with all the cartoons. And woo, let's fly on the top. And inside here there is a six motor drone and it's a very, very small drone. You're gonna see it in a moment. But before I open the box, please remember to like, subscribe and comment on this video. Help me please the algorithm. Thank you so much. Also, if you have to buy anything, check out the links in the description. You get a coupon and you help my channel grow a lot. And as usual, I already opened this drone. Of course, I was super curious about it. And I picked already into it and something fell, of course. We have the paperwork. Super, super cute little drone that comes wrapped in plastic wrap, which is very nice touch. Extra hardware and zip ties right here. Metal eye stickers and also one of the worst looking battery straps I ever seen. <laughs> I hope this is not for the battery actually. And lastly we get eight 40 millimeter propellers from HQ props and the drone needs six so you have only two spares. Let's unwrap the package and see what we get. So, uh, my god, oh okay this is not very hard. And now let's look at the specs of this bug looking drone. So first of all we have Robo Motors 1202.5, this is super weird, 5500 kV motors and we have six of them and they are powered by a 6-in-1, all-in-one ESCs and it's 13 amps. Then we have a F4 flight controller on the separate stack, we have a um, 450 maximum milliwatt VTX, this is the analog version, I guess they have also the digital but it's different, it's a different drone as you can see, not much fits in here. Also I have the R9 module and this is only one of the only drones that comes with the R9 already installed. Very nice Atom antenna, Cadex Ant camera down here and also here you can see the very weird battery straps battery strap I was talking about. This is not one of the best but I guess they are trying to keep it lightweight. Super small, it takes 4S batteries I guess maximum 450 milliamps. And then if you look at this wire coming off the top this is for the small 4K camera. It's not the best choice in my opinion you should go with the GoPro. I mean I'm probably gonna put the Insta360 Go 2 on this drone because feels better with the vibe it's just smaller. I'm gonna try it later. And now let's try this drone without anything on top. And just look at it. With the propellers on it's still a very very small drone. Smaller than a two inch probably. And of course it's one inch but six motors. And also this battery strap you just select how tight you want it and then you slide the battery in. Don't try to tighten it with the battery on you will never succeed. And this is a 450 milliamps 4S battery. Let's try flying with this and see how it goes. I have my analog receiver on the goggles, let's go! Activated. Put it in acro. <laughs> okay, analog first. Mm, not the best feeling in the world. Man, it flies surprisingly nice for being such a small drone. And also, <laughs> you cannot hear it almost. So silent. I'm, I'm sur oh my god, I'm surprised by this drone. I mean, I was thinking it was useless, but it's fun. The cool thing about it is, of course, it's up to 150 grams by a long shot, and it's super, super silent. But it still drains your battery quite fast and also you can see the temperature in the top right corner but it's cut off I don't know why my god this camera doesn't have any contrast at all it's all washed out I cannot see the branches it's crazy of course coming from HD yeah it's not it's not behaving bad though I have it at 450 milliamps as you can see, E4 maximum. I'm curious to try with the uh, Instago 2 on top because maybe it's a good idea after all. It's very, it's very precise. <laughs> I mean, I thought one inches were 
super super in, for indoors and this thing can go there is not much wind uh, just a light breeze it's going Oh, oh god. Maybe I can recover. Activated. Wow. I can recover. Yeah, but we have the camera all dirted out. Yeah. It's tuned kind of good. I mean, I, I don't have any experience with six propellers drawn, but you can push it. It doesn't prop wash that much. And also it seems kind of resistant to impact as well. So lightweight. The propellers don't have a big radius for swinging, so it recovers. And this is my first flight, bear in mind. So what I'm doing for free first flight is not bad. What is that, a cat? Yeah, it's a cat. Oh my god, we are at 14.4 volts. Yeah, probably need to land. I mean, 3.6, yeah, we can maybe go a little bit more. 14.4, yeah, yeah, okay, we can go still. Flight time, 3.30, not bad so far. Of course, I'm also flying very hard, so it seems to be even a little bit efficient. Oh my god. Yeah, don't crash it, you're never gonna find it, it's so small. <laughs> it's cool. It's a good acro trainer, for sure. If you need something small to practice in the park and you have analog, of course, this is not a bad choice at all. Let me land because it's going very, very low. I'm impressed. Also, 4 minutes 26 and we flew like we flew, not bad. And yeah, with this flight we cut a little bit of grass, but as you saw, it can recover very easily. The motor are fine, they are not even warm. I'm impressed with this thing. It flies very, very good actually, and it has a decent amount of power. I would never have expected a one inch to fly this good actually. It's crazy. Now I'm gonna take the Insta360 Go 2 and put it on top like this. I'm gonna make a mount, and if it does work good, it's a shame this is analog and I don't see any way of converting it to HD, but it's the beauty of analog, you have super lightweight setups. And just look at this monster I made. <laughs> this camera is still quite big for this little drone and I adapted the mount from the Smart 35. It's not super bad and maybe it dampens a bit of vibration. I'm curious to see if it flies good still because if you have analog, maybe this is a good choice, let's see. Let's record with the cute little remote right here and boom, let's go. Activated. Yeah, it's kind of heavy with this camera on top, but still manages to fly surprisingly well. I'm just, oh yeah, the goggles are getting low on the battery. But I mean, for being a one inch, it flies amazing. So yeah, now we flew, we flew slow. Let's try doing something. Wow, I mean, it's, it's crazy if you think about it. <laughs> it doesn't care, I mean, yeah, of course it feels way heavier than before, but it doesn't care that much about that camera on top. Yeah, last famous words. And we are back. I had to have dinner because grandma doesn't wait when it's ready. And also I'm surprised because every day night comes quicker. And I have less and less time to make these videos. And I know I flew around one minute with the Insta360 Go 2 before crashing, but in my opinion it's enough to prove the point. I watched the video and there is no jello at all. This is not a bad combo. Remember, it was dusk. So 
the shutter speed is lower and there is more motion blur that covers the jello but I didn't see any so it's not bad wrapping up this review about the X Nano from Flywoo I'm very surprised because I thought this drone was just a gimmick just to be weird and it wouldn't make sense or fly good but actually after trying it's silent, light, compact and it's also kind of powerful and it flies good so it's not bad at all actually and it even works good with the um, Insta360 Go 2 or maybe even with the GoPro, Naked GoPro and probably you can also use it for work which is crazy to me you can use something this weird for work Flywoo also sells it with an optional bumper pack so you can use it like a Cinewoop basically, not bad there is only one main kind of issue with this drone and it's only for analog users in my opinion because if you are an analog pilot no problem for you you're gonna be able to carry an HD cam with not too much problem you saw it, it flies kind of good it's not an acro beast, it doesn't pull up very fast it's a lot of weight for such a small package but if you do um, Cinewoop style flying you're gonna probably carry a naked GoPro or a Insta for 3-4 minutes no problem which is good and also you can add an optional bumper they sell on uh, on their website so even better but if you want to get this in digital in my opinion it's not the best because this thing is 57 grams the digital one is 74 grams which is we started to get to the too much weight zone you know what I'm telling you and there are much better alternatives that fly better than this and I've not tried the digital of course but in my opinion it's gonna fly good if you go really slow and steady but the battery is not gonna last that long so if you have analog I would recommend this drone it's a cool drone to add to your collection it looks cool funky and you can even do some work with it which is crazy and it works good if you have digital I will wait till they make a little bigger prop version but it's gonna lose the appeal of having a, such a small drone that's my opinion and that's all for this review. As always, remember to like, subscribe and comment on this video if you have any questions about the, what you just saw. And remember to check the description. And if you have to buy something, please click on the links. You help my channel a lot. As always, stay safe and happy flying. Bye.